Hello and welcome again to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Don't Get Discouraged, May 30th. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Joshua 1 verse 9 After the passing of the time in 1844, a number of brethren and sisters were assembled in a meeting. All were very sad, for the disappointment had been sore. Presently a man came in, crying, Courage in the Lord, brethren, courage in the Lord. This he repeated again and again, till every face was aglow and every voice lifted in praise to God. Today I say to every worker for the Master, Courage in the Lord. Some look always at the objectionable and discouraging features, and therefore discouragement overtakes them. They forget that the heavenly universe is waiting to make them agencies of blessing to the world, and that the Lord Jesus is a never-failing storehouse from which human beings may draw strength and courage. There is no need for despondency and apprehension. The time will never come when the shadow of Satan will not be cast a thought or pathway. Thus the enemy seeks to hide the light shining from the sun of righteousness. But our faith should pierce this shadow. Hope and courage are essential to perfect service for God. These are the fruit of faith. Despondency is sinful and unreasonable. God is able and willing more abundantly to bestow upon his servants the strength they need for test and trial. For the disheartened, there is a sure remedy, faith, prayer, work. Faith and activity will impart assurance and satisfaction that will increase day by day. In the darkest days, when appearances seem most forbidding, fear not, have faith in God. Christ did not fail, neither was he discouraged, and his followers are to manifest a faith of the same enduring nature. They are to despair of nothing and to hope for everything. With the golden chain of his matchless love, Christ has bound them to the throne of God. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received this encouraging message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.